There's an app known as Let's Date, and a woman who runs a blog by uh, the name of A Heartbeat Changed uh, received a photo from a guy named Trevor. Uh, it was basically a nude photo of himself. Uh, you can see his penis and everything. And it was unsolicited. She did not ask for that penis picture prior to him sending it. <laughs> I just like the concept of someone saying, I did not ask for that penis picture. Okay, I'll have you know. I did not want the penis picture. Yes. So anyway, uh, so he sends the penis picture right after they have a very benign conversation about the weather. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? It, it, there was nothing sexual in nature. It was very G-rated. And then all of a sudden, boom, here's my penis. What do you think? Mm -hmm. So she was taken aback by it. She did not like it. Um, and as a result, she basically said, uh, uh, you know, why did you send that to me? I don't like it. Something along those lines. And he responded with, you don't, you don't like too big for you? Oh yeah, classy, classy. Oh yeah, I sent you my junk. Yeah, oh yeah. Oh, you're scared it's too big. What, has that ever worked? Has the, I mean, I don't know if anybody's ever used that line before, but it's got to be the worst line in history. <laughs> Ridiculous. Anyway, um, so she. What a jerk. She goes. <laughs> okay, you're gonna see how it goes in a circle in a second. Go ahead. <laughs> I love my job. <laughs> anyway, uh, so she responds to him by saying, I didn't, I, I didn't need to see that. I don't need to be disrespected by someone I don't know. Now, he responds to that by calling her a prude, and uh, that's when the shit hits the fan. Uh, so she, she responds by saying, I honestly think you deserve to have that uncomfortable conversation with your mother, basically threatening to send that naked picture of him to his mom. And then he says, that's not right. Don't do that. Uh, it's my mom. And then she continues and says, uh, it, it is right. She should know how you perpetuate rape culture. I am sick of being treated like this. So, wow. So that's a really- That's a good term. That's a very strong statement. I mean, I, I, one can have a debate about whether or not that perpetuates rape culture, but I actually really want to focus on whether or not public shaming is a good thing to do. Now, she, she did somehow forward something to the mother. We don't know if she sent the actual picture, um, she won't clarify that. Uh, there, there's some speculation that she just sent the text, but she says on her blog that the mother is yet to respond. It's been a few days since she forward all, forwarded. I mean, how do you some, respond when somebody sends you a picture of your son's junk? Right, right. Okay. So, so, so this is kind of like public shaming because, as I mentioned, she has her own blog and she posted this on her blog. Uh, on top with on his top, identity. With his yeah, well, Trevor okay. and I yeah. All right, we were having fun about how the jerk mm -hmm. was going around in a circle, etc. But now I got serious, man. I need to drop it. I don't know, man. That's pretty harsh, sending it to your mom. I mean, the guy was a douche to begin with, and the stupid comment, sending the penis picture, yada yada. But I think she might have crossed the line in the other way. I think, like, sending it to the mom and put, like, putting it on your blog is is shaming, et cetera, I got mm -hmm. it. I wouldn't have gone that far, but I'm not sure I'm gonna argue with her. I know ironically, of course, if she puts it out in public, the mom can see it, everybody can see it, right? But it seems particularly gratuitous to send it to the mom. Yeah, I'm gonna vote guilty on that, what on, do you think? On the blog, well, let me give you more information. On the blog she writes, attention assholes, don't sexually harass a girl when she can easily find you on Facebook and send your mom proof of your perpetuation of rape culture. Um, and so I just wanna clarify that they met each other on a dating app called Let's Date. And I'm not saying that this is acceptable, but usually when you're on a dating site or on a dating app, this kind of stuff happens. I mean, chat roulette was a huge story because guys yeah, were just- no, like, no, no, she, she went overboard. Hold man. on, hold on, let me, so let me make my ruling. What's going on, am I- Go, go, huh? Justice Kasparian, huh? my bad. Um, I personally would not do that. Uh, I would not, I would ignore him. Okay, you sent me your junk, it makes me uncomfortable, so you're done, right? Mm -hmm. I'm not gonna write a, a blog about it and publicly shame you that way. Um, I think you're a asshole for thinking that I'm a prude for not liking your penis picture. Like, <laughs> sorry, I don't find it hot. Um, but I'm just not, I'm not gonna publicly shame you. I'm against publicly shaming people. I think you can handle situations like an adult. So if he actually did something to put her in danger or like said like, I'm gonna find you and rape you, yes, that's when you make a big deal about it. But these guys do it and it's like a form of, ex they're like exhibitionists. You know yeah. what I mean? No, I know, look, look. She needlessly went overboard. We were going to have the easiest guilty decision of all time on the guy, right? Yeah, and he, and he is guilty. And he is. Shouldn't have done it. Ridiculous, etc. Or as Anna would say, ridic. 
kind of literally in this case. Actually, it fits in this situation. Yeah, it does. Yeah. All right, but now she turned around with the t rape culture. Like, so everybody on chat roulette was part of the rape culture? Like, the guy was a douche. That was enough, right? And then sending it to the mom. So I got to say, she's guilty on the other side now for overreacting and going thermonuclear. What do you guys think? Well, I mean, first, it, it's not like she went straight to it. First of all, not guilty. This is why. Oh, interesting. She went, she, she didn't go straight to, oh, dude, I can't believe this, and just sends it to his mom, puts his name out there. First she goes, that's disrespectful. Why are you doing that? Oh, it's not big enough? He takes a second swing. So now, if it's so big and you're so proud of it, it's not shaming anymore now, is it? If everybody else sees your little pencil dick. Does anybody mm. care now? Mm. I mean, if you're so willing for everyone to see your little dick, then, hey, let's have at it. Let me, can I show you? And maybe the shame being, because I think it's a pretty rampant thing. I mean, Anna talked before about how we should teach middle school and high school girls, don't take naked pictures. It's going to end up on the internet. Definitely. Mm -hmm. Maybe you need to teach guys, stop taking dick pictures if you really don't want everyone to see it. Because it might just end up on the internet. That's and a by great way, point by Joseph Jackson. It is a yeah. great point. And I like that you mentioned that she was polite about it at first and said, look, I don't want to see that. Don't send it to me. And then he continued on. So you're kind of making me change my mind a little bit. Um, I'm a little more on the fence. But I will say this, um, in terms of it being rampant, you're totally right about that. I'm not on these dating sites at all, and I get penis pictures all the time. You do? Yes. How come nobody's sending Facebook, me penis pictures? Don't do it, don't do it. No, 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 on Facebook, <laughs> like, it's, it's ridiculous, because now Facebook allows anyone to message you, and like dudes will send me their penis. I'm not interested in your freaking penis, okay? <laughs> Just stop sending it to me, it's disgusting. So would you send it to their mom? No, I wouldn't. Chief Justice. I want to lean with what JR saying. Like, I, if you didn't get the point at first, you got to deal with the consequences. So, man up. And if you're so proud, I guess your mom would be too. I, you know, okay, man, God, that's harsh. I know. Okay, I know. I know. Look, you, know, you guys have made good points, and you're swaying both of us a little bit. But the yeah, whole look at my boy. No, nah, no, you I guys, know. you guys actually, they swung me. Hold on, hold on. They swung but me. The, Sorry. Like the other thing is like the whole rape subculture stuff. Look, that, there, that I don't like. No, I, no, and that's part of why I went over and said I think she's guilty for overreacting. Because there is a real rape subculture, absolutely. right? Absolutely. And it's a really serious thing, and it isn't chat roulette. Do you see what I'm saying? There's Steubenville, there's all these things. It's really happening. And I think you minimize it when you compare it to somebody sending you, some idiot sending you a dick picture. I don't think that's part of this rape subculture. And it makes me think that you're overreacting to the whole thing. Yeah. It makes me want to say, no, hey, wait, cool it. No. Can I, can I quickly modify my ruling? Because mm -hmm. I'd like to make a modification. My modification is, in, in, if I were in this scenario, I would not do anything. That's my personal preference. However, in her case, I think that she did what she was comfortable with, and I'm supportive of it.